Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Modern. Today we're doing part two of our Config Manager co-management video. So this is where we take our uh, on-premise Config Manager managed device and manage it via Intune for some of the workloads. So let's jump straight in. Firstly, uh, I'm going to open PowerShell and show that this device is currently Azure AD joined. Can't type. With DSRED CMD slash status, and as you can see, we are Azure AD joined and uh, domain joined. So this is a hybrid device. Obviously, the AD Connect is synchronised in this OU, and device registration is enabled. So that's why that's working. Also, want to show that this device currently has no um, endpoint policy set because that's the thing I'm gonna try and manage via Intune in this video. So we're just going to jump into accounts and access work or school and click on the domain uh, info which is the MDM information button and you can see the area is managed by Get Modern, which is my domain is blank at the moment this isn't doing any endpoint management uh, or any management at all via MDM so that's good. Alright next heading over to my config manager console into device collections you can see we have um, these device collections that we created in part one and we have an endpoint protection device collection here which is the pilot for endpoint protection workloads and uh, I'll show the members on that maybe not I'll go into the properties and you can see we have desktop ending 3SK and I'll take a look at that device in the devices list you can see this is it 3SK registered by Jenny and it's uh, co-managed is yes so this device is co-managed and it has a client on it so that's all good let's take a look at what that looks like in our endpoint manager console all right so just heading over to endpoint manager which is endpoint to microsoft.com and then jumping into, into devices, all devices. And this is the device ending 3SK here. And you can see we've got uh, compliance, see config manager. Um, and it is uh, under co management. So you can see this new pane at the bottom here has been added to describe the situation there. Um, fairly simple fairly similar to every other managed device but there's a few more things you've got on here so if we take a look at uh, sync so um, that's the standard MDM sync and down to these um, additional policies that have been additional actions that you can do so you've got machine policy sync user policy sync and app evaluation cycle so those are the additional config manager co-management um, actions that we can do which is good so yeah additionally we've got some more stuff down here in preview so resource explorer doesn't work um, collections applications config manager applications cm pivot which is pretty cool scripts from config manager um, and uh, device diagnostics is is not config manager but there you go so um yeah that, that's good so let's deploy a endpoint management um, endpoint protection policy sorry so in endpoint security we'll head to security baselines and we'll take a look at the Windows 10 security baseline and just create a quick profile here and I'm going to go for the defaults with this one and we're going to add in uh, all devices and click create and off we go so we've secured our, our Intune managed devices and our co-managed devices uh, with the MDM security baseline so let's wait for that to apply and see what happens just headed back over to my uh, co-managed client I'm just going to go into settings and uh, start a sync and I'll speed this up while I do it Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we've got the policies now applied under the areas managed by Get Modern. And we've got all these security policies that have just been applied. And remember, this is a config, man config manager managed device. So in control panel, you've got the typical um, config manager client here. Fully working config manager managed device, deployed applications to it. Uh, but also managed by Intune. So all of the endpoint protection stuff that goes on on this device is handled via Intune because it's in that pilot collection and that workload is configured to, to pilot into, into Intune co-management. So that essentially speeds up the ability to, to apply these policies. I don't need to go into group policy or, or any of these settings in Config Manager to find the setting. You know, it's, it's already there as a baseline, so that's great. I guess now we'll quickly check what that looks like in the engine portal to see if that's actually um, had any effect. So over to devices and our old devices and this one here. So last checked in a few minutes ago, so that's good. And over into endpoint security config hasn't register anything yet so we'll give that a few minutes but while that does that I want to show you something else let's go into apps and all apps take a look at the only app I've deployed via Intune to my, to my devices you can see we've got um, six installs and, and two pending and two non, non applicable this application the M365 apps for enterprise is deployed to all devices but as you saw that's not deploying to my Windows 10 device that's co-managed let's take a look in the machine itself so as you can see there there's no um, there's no office there's no m365 apps for enterprise there so back over to here um, device install status ending 3sk the install status is not applicable so it's not going to try to install so that's good so let's try and get it to install let's see what we can do to get that actually installing uh, over into the config manager environment uh, let's put this device in the collection for application deployment let's take a look at that let's see what ones we've got to choose from so we've got uh, client apps is the one I chose for this so we'll put that in the device collection for client apps and just make sure that's gonna take effect nice and quickly and there he is there and then we'll need to tell the device essentially that it needs to grab that new con new information from config manager rather than in tune this time so we can jump in to the device in the collection and force it to do machine policy retrieval which will be a good start so uh, client notification download computer policy and it'll go ahead and grab that new information about the pilot workload that it should be in. Alright, so I've told my computer to grab the latest config manager policy. It's been doing that for a few minutes now, so let's take a look at what happened in Intune. We want to see whether this device is now aware that it should be managed for office apps as well so we can do that in reports and then cloud attached devices and as you can see at the bottom there we've got workloads the ones we created pilot collections for and devices managed via Intune we have endpoint protection one so that's good that looks like it's worked so let us um, go back into devices and find that cloud managed device and do a uh, MDM sync this time because we wanted to pull the latest policy for the uh, M365 apps for enterprise app. And we'll take a look at applications and it now knows that it needs to install M365 apps for enterprise as a required install and it's currently waiting for the device to report its, um, its installation. So let's head over to the device. Okay, we're back. So uh, let's take a look at um, 
well, I think the easiest way to see if it's actually trying to install Office would be to see if it's downloading the content. So we'll go into the task manager and, and go here. So currently not downloading any content for uh, from what I can see. So we'll leave that to one side. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> um, right, so it, it has down. It's not downloading content because it's already finished downloading the content. And uh, there we go. It's um, installed Office for me nice and quick. So that was unexpected, but it seems to have worked. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, good. So yeah, w Word works. Um, just close that. And then one final thing I think I want to show you, um, because I skipped over it quite quickly earlier on, so we'll go into um, reports and then cloud attached devices again, and then skip over to the reports tab here to show these two reports. They take a little while to load, so I'll um, generate this report. So this, this co-managed workloads report shows you devices that are managed by Intune and, co and Config Manager. So these are the devices that are um, co-managed. Let's wait for that to load. That was a couple of minutes. Um, and you can see this is the uh, 93SK device that we were looking at earlier. Compliance is Config Manager, Resource, Device Configuration, Windows Update for Business is all Config Manager, but then Endpoint Protection, Modern Application Deployment, and uh, Office Apps, as you've just seen, is all Intune. So that's great. Back over to reports and then co-manager and eligibility. Again, let's generate the report, see what it does. And it's generated this report showing me that I've got one, I've got two devices in total. One of them is co-managed and one of them is ineligible for co-management. Um, so let's take a look at that. The other device is the gateway, my gateway service uh, device. So that's, that's a Windows device, Windows Server 2016. And therefore it's... Um, uh, ineligible for co-management uh, so yep all good I assume if there was more devices it would give more more useful information so that's great okay so a quick recap then we've taken uh, a, dev a, de a device that was managed purely on-premise by config manager and managed it via Intune as well for, for two workloads and three workloads technically um, as a test so next we're going to be looking at going full Intune co-management with Config Manager for more than one device and, and take a look at how that works, how we migrate finally to that fully Intune managed destination that we want to get to. So that's it for this video. As you can see, this is a parallel set of videos to Andy's um, cloud-only Intune managed device playlist. Uh, so. Yeah, this is essentially covering the on-premise version of that and migrating from the on-premise state, the config manager managed state, uh, into into co-management and with the final destination being Intune managed. Uh, so yeah, please like and subscribe and we'll post more content as soon as ready. Thanks.